WDSU investigates as the New Orleans Police Department continues to work to tackle violent crime. They relaunched a program. It's called Operation Golden Eagle. Part of the plan was cracking down on kids in violation of curfew. WDSU investigative reporter Aubrey Killian uncovered just how many kids in OPD picked up. We're here today to talk about our summer deployment plans or strategies that I firmly believe we will continue to move the fight against violent crime in the right direction. That's what Superintendent Sean Ferguson had to say when addressing violent crime and announcing that officers were going on 12 hour shifts back in May. And we are also implementing a curfew plan in alignment with this. There's a total of eight police districts in New Orleans. According to the data for the month of June, 10 juveniles were detained for violating curfew. In the second district, there were seven. In the sixth district, there were two. In the eighth district, one. For the month of July, NOPD says 15 juveniles were detained for violating curfew. In the first district, seven. In the second district, two. In the fourth district, one. The eighth district, five. And for the month of August, up until the 15th, the number of kids picked up for curfew, zero. With regards to curfew, uh, we're going to re-implement that again as we have done it before. Uh, in partnership with uh, Youth and Family Services out of the uh, office of, of the mayor. And with that, 8 o'clock curfew, we know that the curfew times, 8 from Monday through uh, Thursday, then Friday and Saturday, it is at 9. And of course, summer hours, it shifts a little later than that. And in implementing this, we're going to do as we've done before. First time or two, we're going to take that child home. But at third time, we will be uh, looking for the parents and holding them accountable. Meaning, holding, when I say holding them accountable, they, could, they are subject to being cited uh, as well as to why, the, why are the kids still, why are we consistently locating these kids uh, after hours on the streets of New Orleans. So we are going to be very focused on that as well. And NOPD says there were no repeat offenders and no citations were issued. NOPD also says that the curfew, it ends August 31st, but that does not include the French Quarter. That is year round. It goes from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Reporting, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News. Aubrey, thank you. To be clear, when kids are picked up for violating curfew, it doesn't mean that they were arrested for any crimes. That's right. We reached out to NOPD for a comment, and they told us this in part, saying, quote, however, if utilizing this tool in our toolbox results in deterring even one potential incident from occurring, then we feel it can be considered successful. But Aubrey did uncover the number of juveniles who were arrested for crimes. Take a look at this breakdown we got from NOPD. From June 1st to August 17th, 157 arrests have been made on either existing warrants or on view arrests. 24 juveniles were arrested more than one time during that time period, with most arrests coming from the 3rd District.